Daniel Crappen on series two, number 13. Gets cold on Kuma. Kuma gets cold. This is, you know, October. It's like, you know, October in most Australia start to warm up. Summer's approaching. It's a nice spring weather. But in Kuma, cold. Bought these gloves a couple of weeks ago or something. Wearing them this morning down, down in Kuma Town. Gloves on my hands. They were cold. Grey, wearing gloves, still cold. I don't know. Kuma. Freeze the nuts of a tractor. <laughs> Kuma. Oh well. Daniel Crapping on series two, number 13. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Isaiah 31. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, and stay on horses and trust in chariots, because they are many, and in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and the bones flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall, and he that is Hol but shall fall down, and they all shall fall together. For thus hath the Lord spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion ro roaring on his prey. When a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself. For the noise of them, so shall the Lord of hosts come down to fight for Mount Zion and for the hill thereof. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. Turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. For in that day every man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your own hands have made unto you for a sin. Then shall the Assyrian fall with a sword, not of a mighty man, and the sword not a man, mean, not of a mean man shall devour him, but he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be discomfited, and shall pass over to a stronghold for fear, and his princes shall be afraid of the ensign, save the Lord, whose fire is in Zion, and his furnace in. Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 31. Down crapping on, series 2, number 13. Gloves. At least I keep away some of the cold. I wonder who invented gloves. Maybe Mr. Glove. Back in the 1940s. Oh, Mr. Glove. We'll call him Gloves. Probably go back further, probably. Maybe Noah had gloves when he was building the ark and it was cold on a winter's night. It's cold. Neymar, knit me some gloves. What are gloves, Noah? Wool to cover my hands. I'll, I'll look into it. It's a designer. Yeah, I'll do it. Four months past. Here, gloves. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. 
Oh, there's a room there. Thanks, Titia. Appreciate it. Drugs. Food. People need to eat food to live. Brave souls try and look at that food. They end up dead. Weebix. In the UK, it's called Weetabix. Or it used to be. Possibly still is. Wouldn't really know. Sanitarium, the health food company. I think Sanitarium, the one owned, owned by the Seventh Day Adventists or something like that. Or well, they were. Probably still are. I don't really know. Wheat picks. Down crapping on series two number thirteen. <laughs> of course, there's mittens as well, gloves and mittens. Gloves are for grown ups, mittens are for kids. Daniel Crappin on. Here's some here's something. Mm. Oh come on. I think I've shown this stuff before. Yeah. Yeah. Same or same one. Uh, there we go. They're empty. But this was a... Uh, This was a pack, this was a pack of Alan's pineapples. Little lollies. I do a basic foods video on them one of these days. Down crapping on series two number 13. Because 13 is Taylor Swift's birth date. 13th December 1989. And it's the devil's number. 13 is Taylor Swift's favorite number. And it's a traditional number associated with the devil. So, you know, work that one out. Pegs. Wash your mouth. Pegs. Fujitsu battery, triple A size. Daniel Crappen on series two, number 13. More scripture. Psalm 97. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goes before him, burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heaven decla heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, 
that boast themselves in idols, worshipping, worship him, worship God, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord God Almighty. For thou, O Lord, art high above all of the earth, thou art exalted far, far above all of these so called gods. Even love the Lord, hate evil, he preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks to the remembrance of his holiness. Psalm 97 Down crapping on, series 2, number 12. 13, number 13, Taylor's number. Yep. The Holy Bible, written by God. Literally dictated in every way, shape and form. The Holy Spirit set with the prophets and says, write this. Yep, that's it. Right, yep, that's it. Yep, yep. No, 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 put a comma there. If I had commas, I don't know. When I was working on the King James Version, I put a comma in. Grammar. Top stuff. <laughs>